guys back with another video wearing the exact same clothes I am not gonna change my outfit five times and I like to film as many videos as I can in a row because I have four kids and life can be crazy so this is gonna be my May obsessions and letdowns all right let's go through the obsessor no Koa come up here come here come on here's one obsession oh you're my puppy oh you're my puppy yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah. All right, hop down. That's an obsession right there. He's so cute. All right, I'm just going to start with primers. All right, I'm going to start with two primers. And you know, guys know I'm not a big fan of primers, so these are good primers. The Physician's Formula Spotlight Primer. I love this primer. It is hydrating. It gives a little bit of dewiness. And I have been wearing a, a really light coverage foundation, so this shimmer will show through. Not in like a more full coverage foundation, it won't though. But um, I really, really like this foundation for a drugstore. It is so good. Um, the second primer that I've been using is the Tarte Clean, Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Comes in like a little gold pot, has like, it, it's almost like the Benefit Professional, but I feel like it's a little thicker, and this one actually cover, like fills your pores. Like I'm picky about primers, and this one actually fills your pores. All right, second thing is, let's go in with the foundation I've been using. It is the Lancome Skin feels good, hydrating skin tint with a healthy glow. It has hyaluronic acid, paraben free, oil free, SPF 23. This is really, really good. Uh, I suggest using a beauty blender, not a brush because it is a little bit more emollient. Like it's, we're, it's a really wet foundation. A beauty blender just does it, puts it in perfectly. It is more lightweight um, and it's probably light to medium coverage you could probably build it up to medium but it's really really good it feels really good on the skin and also is very hydrating for dry skin so this is a really good summer foundation with the spf in it next is the concealer i've been using a ton i tried out this master conceal by face studio camouflage concealer by maybelline new york this is a really good concealer and I am in the color 20 light. It is really full coverage. And so I only use a little bit right here and here. And then I'll kind of use the Mabel my Maybelline Fit Me out here and like more around. But this is really good. Like it's a really good full coverage concealer from the drugstore. I don't hear a, lot, a ton of people talking about it, but it is seriously good. Guys, this highlight is just so good. If you get a recommendation of anything that I'm telling you to go get today or that you're looking at today, Go get this hard candy highlighter in the color Glamour Girl. These are like fox in the box highlighters. They're from Hard Candy and they are also scented. This one is Pina Colada. And then I always use it with this Morphe brush. This R, shoot, it's rubbed off. Maybe R33 it looks like. I'm telling you, I've gotten so many people ask me what highlight I'm wearing when I put this highlighter on. It is that highlight that literally has no glitter, no shimmer. It's just like you just glow. You're just like radiating a glow and it's so beautiful. Go try this. This is like a high, high end highlighter. Like I reach for this more than my high ends lately. So try it out. Hey, I'm going to go in with the blush, the blush. And I hope that these are not discontinued. I will look and see if they are. Obviously I'll link it if it's not, but Flower Beauty's Cream Blushes. This is in the color Forget Me Not, and it's just that cool tone, beautiful, beautiful pink. I'm just gonna add some on, even though I already have makeup on today. It's just this beautiful pink, and it just, you know, I know everyone's just into the warm tone, warm tone, warm tone, but I'm telling you, these light pinks in the spring just make your face look so fresh. Um, like the cool tone pinks, they're just give it that spring fresh look and I love that in the springtime. So Flower Beauty's Forget Me Not. Okay, another favorite of mine is I've been using the Lancome Monsieur Big. This is the waterproof one. I am wearing it today. It is really, really nice. I don't love it as much as I love my L'Oreal Butterfly. This one does kind of fan out my eyelashes quite a bit and it gives it a little bit more volume than the butterfly. So I do like that. I might repurchase. We'll see. We'll see. But this is a really good high-end foundation or not foundation, um, mascara. Next is I got this in a boxy charm. It is the pretty vulgar 
eyeliner. I just want to say first of all, for it's called the ink. Can we just talk about this packaging for a minute? It looks like an old school ink pot that, you know what I mean, when they did like calligraphy. Just the packaging alone, it pulls me in. But it is also a very good product inside. It's really, really good. It's almost a little bit more creamy than I'm used to but it glides on perfectly. This is really, really good, guys. Another one that I've been using a lot is the Tarte Chrome Paint, and I have Frosé. This stuff, I, I want them to come out with so many more colors, like wearable colors. They had some colors that I was kind of like, okay, this stuff is bomb, but I want like an awesome bronze. I want like a color kind of like Amber Rush. You guys remember that from L'Oreal? Um, or like Max Tan. Because these are so good, so good. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see how shiny and perfect? This is like a pink with like a gold reflect. It's so pretty. It's worth the price. The only thing I wanna find out, and it like goes a little bit, goes a long way. The only one I, thing I wanna find out is if it is gonna dry out. Cause I've gotten some high end cream shadows that do dry out and that kind of starts to piss me off. But uh, I don't think it will because it's a different kind of cream texture. I'm hoping it doesn't. Let's just say I'm hoping it doesn't. But I hope they come out with some more colors that I want. Next is the last piece of makeup I have. <sighs> Guys, this palette. I walked in. Let me start by saying I have no idea who this YouTuber is. But I didn't care. As soon as I saw the packaging and the inside, I mean, I grabbed it. Because it's that pretty. It is the, how do you say it? Aspen Ovard palette. Look, okay, you got, the whole thing is rose gold. The whole thing. And then it's got those beautiful peach, just like vintage looking peach and sage green and light pink and rose. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like it's so pretty. And then you open it. Is this not the most pretty neutral palette you've seen in a long time? It's neutrals, but it's actually neutrals like not warm tones there is a couple warm tones but it's just the most beautiful palette i will obviously provide swatches but literally the whole thing is rose gold even in between like they did not spare an expense for this palette it's gorgeous it comes with a blush a highlighter and then uh let's see how many mattes one two three four five mattes one kind of satin shimmer and then one two three more like intense shimmers the only complaint I have is the two mattes that they have, the High School Sweetheart and the Tea Time, this one right here and this one right here, are fairly similar in shade and so they can tend to blend into each other when you're putting them on your eye. But, oh, guys, this pal, I don't know who this chick is, but she speaks to my heart. It's just nice to see a palette that's not like orange. I just want, even if I didn't use it, the packaging alone, I just want it to sit on my vanity. I'm just gonna do two honorable mentions. I actually haven't been using them a ton yet that I just wanted to show you guys, to be honest, is the Urban Decay Beached Palette. This bad boy is so pretty. Those are so pretty. Will I return it? I'm not quite sure yet because I just, if it's not wearable, if those teals aren't wearable all the time, then I'm not gonna keep it, but I'm gonna play around with it. And the other one that like, oh, I'm dying. I've only used it once. Maybe have it on my eyes right now and I'm just dying. And oh, Laura Lee's Nudie Patootie Palette. And I'm gonna say no more because I'm only using once, but so far, that palette's bomb. All right, the next favorite is the Province Beauty Firming Bottle Body Oil, Sandwood Oil and Avocado Oil. It looks like this, comes in this beautiful, beautiful jar. I really like Province Beauty. You can find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or they kind of carry it. I've never actually purchased from Province Beauty. I always just go to like TJ Maxx. I love their oils. This is a body oil, it was $5.99. This is a body oil and it is the best body oil and it smells almost like rosemary, I wanna say. It smells like rosemary. Every time I use this, my kids are like, mom, you smell good. And it's one of those oils that like doesn't just go in your skin and disappear, like it's there. And so it makes your legs look good in the summer, like that gives them a nice sheen. Got a little J-Lo leg going on, but beautiful, beautiful oil. Oh, the next item is a piece of clothing. I got from Loft, Ann Taylor Loft, and it is this right here. It is so pretty. It's almost like that crocheted look to it. It's got like a little fringe on both sides, 
and then the, the arms have a fringe on it and so does the bottom, it has a fringe. And then the back, it's got like two strips of almost, it looks like it's kind of like braided down the back. This shirt is so, so pretty and it's lightweight enough, like with all the holes in it, it's got like holes here. It's just got beautiful, beautiful detailing. Um, and it's lightweight enough that I think wearing it in the summer would be perfectly fine. Um, and it's not crazy see-through either. So I normally am a large because I'm so tall um, for it to fit my shoulders and my length. But guys, I ordered an extra small in this because it is more of that like billowy look. But I didn't want it to be too crazy billowy because it is a little bit thicker. Anyways, it is beautiful. It's on sale right now on the loft. I think I paid $31 for it maybe, but it's gorgeous. If you did this, okay, with your hair in a high ponytail and some of those fringe earrings in either hot pink or hot red or hot blue or any bright color, the fringe earrings, girl, you'd be looking hot. All right, let's go in with the letdowns. I only have four letdowns today. First is the Revlon Metallic Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, which it doesn't make sense, metallic and matte together, but whatever. Glam Glamour is maybe the color. This has that gritty feeling like on your lips, like it's really gritty and I don't love it. Also, the, just the, it looks so pretty swatched, but it almost looks like, and I should have known, I was like, wow, this, this color is gorgeous, but it's almost like more it would be gorgeous as an eyeshadow color, not so much as a lip color. Also, I tried one of the Essence Metal Shock eyeshadows, and this is in the color Second to Mars, and it also says contains carmine. Maybe that's an allergy, a common allergy. Anyways, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful swatched, but put on the eye, it just starts to get like crumbly and you can't layer it and it just does not wear well on the eye at all. But it's sad because it's such a beautiful color. The next thing I tried from the drugstore that I did not enjoy was this Hard Candy um, Just Glow Baked Highlighting Trio. First of all, the packaging is just way too bulky. I mean, this thing is like, way too bulky and the, the, it's just chunky chunky highlighter I just don't I don't love it I don't love it at all not a good highlight palette and it kind of rubs off throughout the day like it doesn't just stay on not my favorite at all pass on that all right the next thing that was a letdown is a birch box and it is the pure sculptor highlight and contour palette and the only reason why it's a letdown is because those shades are obviously not for me. Um, I love that they are putting dark shades in it, and I love that Pure has dark, dark shades for darker women, but I wish that, the, you know what I mean, like how in my profile it says I'm fair, I don't know why they're sending this out. They need to have like a color range, you know what I mean, at least fair, medium, and dark, and they send it to whatever it says on your profile, but um, it's kind of a waste. The highlights are actually fairly good, but I'm not gonna keep it because it's just, you know, a waste of space, to be honest. So that was also a letdown. And that's it, that's all I have. So that was my May obsessions and letdowns. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video, bye.